the golden poppy super bloom. It was such a beautiful sight that ended in a bit of ugly chaos back in 2019. Now it's happening again, and we sent our Brian White on a road trip. I hit the road and headed north on I-15 after reports of golden poppy sightings. A few miles out from Lake Elsinore, I caught my first glimpse of golden poppies peppering the hillsides with that golden orange hue. Okay, so I just pulled up to the Walker Canyon Trailhead. As you can see, it's closed off to the public, but park rangers are going to let me walk in just a little bit to give you a closer view. Golden poppies are blooming here in Walker Canyon in all their brilliance and colorful displays. It's like a little yellow, orange pop of sunshine. Jeff and Gail here came out to see the poppies, but were turned around by park rangers. Very disappointed. Doesn't seem like there's really any good reason for it to be closed. They were here for the super bloom in 2019 and shared these pictures with me. It was incredible. Pretty much the whole hills were covered with flowers and you were able to walk through them. This season, the city of Lake Elsinore decided to shut down Walker Canyon Trail altogether in order to prevent the massive crowd seen in 2019. Neighborhoods were literally severed from access to the rest of the city by traffic gridlock. They also combed off the I-15 shoulder to prevent onlookers from parking along the freeway. There was people parking like idiots and causing traffic jams and everything else. The freeway was at a dead stop. With everything shut down, the city is asking people to exercise their puppy patience. They're probably one of the most iconic species for super blooms. Dr. Daniel Winkler is a research ecologist with the U.S. Geological Survey's Southwest Biological Science Center. And he says the massive amounts of rain last month are partly why we're seeing these early blooms. It depends on how much rain fell in a particular area, but also if the seeds in the soil seed bank were primed and ready for receiving that precipitation to create a wildflower display. As for whether this will become a super bloom, that may depend on how much rain we get over the next few weeks. In Lake Elsinore, Brian White, CBS 8.